They're going to tell you, they're going to tell you that you can't live at the standard of living your parents have had in the past. That's what you read in the papers. Oh, you have it. Coming out of school. There are kids coming out of school right now can't find jobs. How many degree? That is happening. But here's the thing. Look at us old people. We're going to be retiring. There are a lot of them. There are not as many of you. Lots of jobs. Dan Burris, a futurist, teenager, asks, what career should I go into? I love his answer. You know what he says? I love his answer. He says, don't worry. Half of what you could do hasn't been invented yet. Be able to learn how to learn. Be flexible. Find your gifts. Find out what you're good at. Because your dreams will happen as you move. Sell them. Do you know what it is at this point in your life? I wanted to be an accountant. I had no idea I'd end up being a speaker or an author. They happen as doors open along the way and you find out what your gifts are. And you ride them. And then you find out whether it's satisfying, whether you get to make a difference. And when you do, wow. Here's a little data. Everybody talks about the poor and the poor don't make it. No, the, the, the data shows something different. They call them the bootstrap studies. U.S. Treasury and the University of Michigan have studied the poor. What they found, and this is interesting, they, they, they say most data give you a set number of people that are poor, right? And there's a, let's say there's 40 million of them. But they don't tell you they're not the same people. What they found, they did a 17-year study and a 20-year study. They followed the same group of poor people for 17 years and 20 years. You know what they found? 5% remained poor. 20% had made it from the lowest economic level to the highest economic level, the top 25% in 17 to 20 years. Never believe that you can't find your place in the world. Just don't believe it. This impossible dream stuff, I don't even like the word impossible. You have so many dreams you're going to make, be able to make happen. And it requires that we capitalize on it. There are too many people waiting for something to happen in Washington, waiting for something to happen somewhere else. Make it happen where you are. What new ideas do you have? This may be the idea that we need to capitalize on. No one knows how old you are. You can have ideas that can change the world. Be open to it. That's your week of discovery. And then realize, be thankful you're here. Every time I travel around the world, I just come back and think, oh, thank you. People talk about this being a tough place. Man, let me just tell you, there are other places in the world you just can't believe how staggeringly difficult it is to be successful. And we live in a place where you have an opportunity to pursue education, an opportunity with community and with relationships to build something that is important. Take it this week. Don't, don't put anything in your way. All of the bars you have in your way, you're putting up. You're putting up, and you can take them down. 